All right. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I think we've done one Rick Wakeman song. I know that name from somewhere, but this is a paper request from Xenophobic. Um, Rick Wakeman, Brian May, with Brian May, Starship Trooper outro live at the Starmus. Um, so I don't know really, uh, Rick Wakeman, I don't know why that name is so familiar. But obviously Brian May, I mean, I do loads of Queen, but yeah. Let's go. At first, I was going to say, there's, it's just quite grungy to start. I was thinking, I'd, I'm not getting the star, but now, the Starship Trooper thing, I get. Yeah, but yeah, let's go. No Brian May yet, no?
All right, he's fire. Because it's one thing to make a keyboard sound space age. I mean, that's kind of easy, but his guitar actually sounded futuristic then. Like, his guitar actually sounded like it was an alien plane. Like, you could picture, like, space with that solo he just done. That was fire. There's Brian. Brian is a beast because I was actually thinking Brian's I could just hear Brian on this track I could um, and Brian has a very distinctive way of playing guitar and he didn't actually go to that that didn't sound like Brian May like Queen Brian May um and actually I thought like Brian May's Queen sound would actually have worked well over this and fit in well, but he didn't go that way. Some of them little riffs he was just pulling out, and that was like some real, like he kind of went back to some real bluesy, that was fire. Brian just lit that up. And like I say, not in a way that you'd expect from Brian. It wasn't Brian's kind of big, grand notes and... Yeah, that was that was hard.
Yeah, that was hard. That was hard. Brian Shred, they all did, to be fair. He's far on the keyboard, too. Some of them little keyboard riffs. Um, that's Rick Waitman. I, that's the thing. I know him. And I knew he looked like that. I don't know why I know him. Maybe I have done one of his before. But, yeah, that was fire. And I think it's like... <clears throat> until the end, where you had that kind of rundown, but... I could be wrong, but I think it was just kind of free circling chords. That's the thing. As much as space agey that was, it was quite rootsy too. Like blues being based off of free chords and like repeating the same thing over and over and over. It had a very rootsy, bit like Oasis Columbia as well, where it's just free chords looping and then madness at the end. Um, but yeah, that was fire. Fire. I don't know who that other guitar player, but he was fire as well. He kind of went the more way Brian, I thought, would go. With the kind of space age futuristic, literally his guitar sounded like a spaceship button. <laughs> you know what I mean? But Brian kind of, he was doing some gangster shit. Yeah. Yeah, that was fire. That was fire. But yeah. That's the reaction. Sweet. 